What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we're in Isla Mirada Keys at Bud Mary's Marina with the legend himself, Nick Stanzik. Y'all look at all them motors. This big bad Freeman. Y'all are probably thinking right now I'm going to do a swordfish video. Wrong, we're trading Captain Nick in today for his beautiful wife, Captain Sarah Stanzik, and we're gonna go catch stone crabs on that awesome vessel. The heck with the Freeman, the heck with those big giant Yamaha hauls. We're going on a bay boat back country, pulling stone crab traps, and we're gonna do a stone crab catch, clean, and cook for y'all today on this windy, beautiful Monday. Hey, Captain, yes. are you ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Look, he's over there on boat cleaning duty. You just stay over there. Yeah, I'm going. Right I'm going with the pretty Captain this morning. All right, y'all, we got the bait loaded and we are off. How far are we running? About three, four miles. Three or four miles out into the Gulf to a secret location. And we're gonna be pulling stone crab traps. If y'all are ever here in Isla Mirada, Florida or anywhere in the Keys, going or coming, stop by Bud Mary's Marina. You won't be disappointed. One thing I've already learned is Captain Sarah is way more bossy than Captain Nick. I was gonna try to do it with no gloves and I got told to put the gloves on, so let's see what we got. Alright, I've seen oh, these that things are nice heavy. That one's a fresh one, you're lucky. A freshie, huh? Oh yeah, something. Woo doggy! We got pay dirt, y'all. We got pay dirt. Oh yeah. Look at that bad boy. All right, y'all, my first keeper stone crab. So first we're gonna measure. This one's a keeper. We're gonna measure that one. So flip them over. So this is how you measure the claw in between. So it's right from that inside joint to the out, to the bottom claw. He's a keeper. He is, he's touching. All right, she's gonna show us the trick. Now what do we do? So we're gonna stick the knife in this joint here and we just wiggle it around, just hold on to him and he's gonna drop that claw just like that. So tell me, cause I know you do this all the time. I see people when they break them, juices just flow out of the crab. Can that can't them. be good though. No, if you do it wrong though, you kill the crab. So this way, like there's no way you can do it wrong because the crab is dropping Let go, the and no juice came out then no. from what I saw. This is the better way to do it. Sometimes you rip the armpit out of the yeah. crab. Yeah. If you rip this joint out, which you do by accident, it kills the crab. Yeah. So I just prefer this. This is safer way, especially yeah. when she takes charters. Yeah, because it's hard to teach someone how to do it in just an hour of being out here. Y'all you know? see that? No harm done to that crab. We can safely turn him loose and he'll yeah. live to grow more claws. And that's a female crab. She has the larger apron underneath. So she's totally fine and she's going to grow new claws. And let her go. And we're going to eat her old claws and I'm so excited because this is my favorite thing to eat in the whole wide world. Put them back there behind me. But guess what? We got more. This are going to get pinched. They ain't, I ain't scared of that. Let's measure him. Y'all ain't dealing with this a, big one's good. a normal person. You're gonna cry, Gabe. You're gonna cry. <laughs> Whew, okay, just short on that Just one. short. This let's, big one's good, though. Let's get it. 
Now, crab in the water, claw on the boat. Don't throw the claw in. <laughs> Y'all, so you've seen Captain Nick and his wife Sarah on my channel, Gator Hunting. They think I'm worried about a little crab when I deal with 12 foot alligators. These crabs don't scare me. This one's been caught already. See, so this is a good example. This was a wild crab that got back in the trap. See how that's already healed over? That means it works. You want to rebait it now? I want to put a barracuda head. Y'all, look at that. Look at that huge barracuda head. I'm having a feeling that that's going to be next week. She's going to call me. More? They're hungry then, huh? There won't be anything but bones in there. Holy cow. Oh, we might not have enough to load them all like that. But that was a good one. Oh, yeah, that was good. That's all she wrote. Now all we gotta do is throw it back Let me show y'all real quick. Oh! Bam! Don't let him get you. Look at that big boy. I bet I could put him on both ears. What do y'all think? I should do it? <laughs> Sarah said you're freaking me out. All right, so we got the big one out of the trap, and we're gonna save him until we dump this in, and then we're gonna deal with him because we want to get a thumbnail with him. But for right now, there's still more keepers in here. And yeah, I took my gloves off. I just don't feel as manly with gloves on, so I took them off. Hey, you go. Oh, we got another keeper in here, y'all. Another keeper. You want me to show you how to yeah. take them off? All, All right. right. So put them We're going to let her do it. This is what she does every day. And so it looks good on video. I'm going to actually let her hold the crab and her break the claws off the correct way. I'll keep doing it, but I want y'all to see it once the correct way. Here. No. Oh, he's definitely breaking Yeah, the that boat. would be your finger. Okay. All right. So let's see how this goes. Way you crack. I kind of put my pinky under there to give it a little bit of leverage, and then you just roll it forward till it stops and pop it right like that. Yeah. Why didn't you show me how to do it like that? <laughs> Hold the crab for the second claw. Same thing. Roll it forward till it stops. Just pop it off. What? That's way cooler than a knife. Hey. You just see you next time, little buddy on the Blue Gabe Adventures. I think that's it. Let's rebait him. Leave a comment below if you know what this is. Just leave a big comment below. And I don't think it came from Captain Sarah's boat. I think maybe it came from Captain Nick's boat. So when we do these crab traps, we do them just like I do my blue crab. She's got marks on the GPS. She knows exactly where she wants to put it. It's a proven spot. She's fished there a ton of times. So when we pull them, the wind blows us off. We get done with the trap. We drive back to the mark, throw it in the water, and go to the next one. You guys, right here, I'm gonna show you on this GoPro is one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet and will wreck your day. The Portuguese man of war. So that man of war floats along and its antennas are like eight, nine foot long and it will literally reach out and grab you and then wrap around you. Surfers, divers, free divers have been devastated by that thing. Now let's get back to pulling traps. Woo! That ain't even the biggest one. Oh, he about got me. Come on, come on. Look at that, that trap's full of nice large yeah, stone crabs. Oh yeah, Nick, are you excited though? I can smell it already. Turn the camera around and show them who's filming. I'm Gabe's cameraman now. Nick Stans, Stans fam, y'all. <laughs> Check out our channel, Stans fam, right here with Gabe right now, crushing the stone crabs. So y'all, Nick Stans and his wife Sarah live down here in the Keys. Their family owns Bud and Mary's Marina. Y'all check it out, anytime you're coming to the keys or leaving the keys, 
and I'm guilty of this too. I've been coming here my whole life. I never knew Bud Mary's Marina had so much to offer. An awesome little quiet restaurant, a big clothing. They sell all the Plagic gear, a bunch of local gear, a bunch of Bud Mary's gear, ice cream, sodas, you name it. And they also have one of the biggest charter fleets in the Keys. Check out Bud Mary's Marina. This little guy's got a little teeny pincher. It'll still hurt you. Well, it's a good, shows that I regrow them. Yeah. Yep. So somebody's already kept this claw and that's a newbie. That's him growing it back. Okay, let's not kill him. No, I'm not gonna kill this one. <laughs> He's got a good big one. Just like that, easy peasy. Yo, look at this chunk of, who caught this big bonita? Or this that big barracuda? Bad on the redfish. Golly. That's massive, right? Yeah. It came up eating whole bonitas and I freaked out. Okay. So do you notice a difference between clean traps versus dirty traps? Do clean ones catch more or dirty ones catch more? Nope. She said nope. I would have thought a dirty trap would catch more, so he almost thinks he's actually getting in a legitimate hole. Actually, the commercial guys clean their traps off on purpose, some of them. They scrub them every time they pull them to huh. keep them clean. Because the theory is that crabs prefer a cleaner trap. Over they must be women. They prefer a clean <laughs> house. And another fun fact, you see her eating that banana? Show up, Nick. So Captain Nick, I don't know which one of the two of these started it years ago, started bringing bananas. And I'm one, I don't believe in mist and definitely don't believe in if you bring a banana, you're gonna have a bad day. But there's not a better fisherman on this planet than the guy holding the camera and he eats a banana on the boat every day of the week. See all this stuff that grows on the rope? You want to get it off. And a lot of times there's fire coral and nasty stuff, so most people wear gloves. Gabe can do whatever he wants. Yeah, but I ain't most people. <laughs> My charters wear gloves. Y'all look up in here. They're running a little small today. But that don't matter. We're not out here to get a hundred calls. We just need enough to make dinner for it. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, six. You see seven, that little eight, guy right like there? Nine claws out of this trap. Gabe's gonna get pinched. Gabe's not getting okay, pinched. Okay, look, now drop the crab like this, and he's gonna pinch the trap. Yeah. Let him get the trap. Like that. And then you grab him. You just set me up for failure. <laughs> I was trying to help you. If you let him Y'all just see that? She crab. just tried to drop that <laughs> crab on my toe. Good calf shot, Gabe. Good calf shot. Hey, that's better than B-Rad did on our sword fishing video with the harpoon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got some crabs. Yep. Oh, look what we got. A little oh. bonus, a little oh, bonus. Little look baby. at the little baby wobster. He's bycatch, we can't keep him. But what about this guy? He's good. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. This is my first time ever stone crabbing. And I'm getting the hang of picking them up without getting bit. Yay! Damn! Y'all see that? I was a little nervous before. I didn't want to kill the crab, but I've about figured it out now. Y'all, look at this bait, though. We saved this for the bitter end. That's about, how big is that swordfish, Nick? 100 pounds? Yeah, a little smaller. A little big small. enough. Big enough, though. That one actually has some worms in his bottom section, so that's why we left those bottom loins on him. Because he'll be perfect for crab. Yeah. Worm stone crabs, the better. Stone crabs love worms. Y'all, this has been super fun, but the best is yet to come. We're going back to the marina, and we're gonna cook these fresh stone crabs, and we're gonna eat my favorite food in the whole wide world. And then, I'm ending this video after we eat, of course, and I'm heading down to Alligator Alley to go get on that boat you watched me film on, on the boat show video, the Miami boat show video that I did, that little inshore Texas made bay boat. And we're going to do high end bow fishing. This guy's bringing everything, really nice gear, really nice lights. 
and we're going boat fishing, but you'll have to wait for the next video for that one. We just saw this balloon fall out of the sky, land in the water. We see a ton of them out here. It's litter, we're gonna get it out. A turtle could eat that, and everybody loves turtles. We don't want that, so. Maybe cut down on the balloon use. That's for a They fact. always wind up in the water. Or don't turn them loose. Pop them and throw them away. Yeah, throw them away, right. So, take care of the ocean, it takes care of us. We'll see y'all at the dock. All right, y'all, we're back. One of the coolest things about Bud and Mary's Marina, you can come charter a boat. They've got awesome houseboats out there on the water. They literally are right on the water. You'll go to sleep to the wind and the waves rocking back and forth. They've got yellowtail boats, inshore, offshore, bonefish, tarpon. But another cool thing that they have is tarpon. You can come here and also hand feed the tarpon. When most of the time you would have to go to Robbie's or other places like that. Bud and Mary's Marina now has their own school of tarpon. We don't charge you to walk on the dock. Spanish sardine. Let's see if they're hungry. Ooh. 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 What you want? Hey. Everybody loves to feed the fish. Ooh. I don't care how many times you've done this and fed the tarpon, it never gets boring. Ugh. Y'all, this is the star of the Stans Fam show, Sadie Mae herself. Go show them the big swordfish. Oh, there you are. Do you think Gabe should come down and try to catch a swordfish like that? Leave a comment below if you think so. I'm not reeling it in. I'm doing the electric reel if I gotta fight that thing. Where are we going? Sadie made a new friend. You see? Oh, in here? Y'all, I'm just, the ladies like me. I don't know what it is. Whoa, it's a mouse. It is the time, my favorite time, to eat fresh stone crab. I've only ever got to eat stone crab fresh like a few times in my life. They're totally different when you're the first person to catch them and cook them and eat them. Most of the time when you buy them at the store, they're already cooked and then you're rewarming them. So right now, this is like, if I had a dying wish, it would be to be on the deadliest catch all that crab right in front of me cooked in big bowl of butter and just start eating. That's how much I love crab. Hey, what, what are we gonna do here? This is gonna be hard, right? Like we're getting technical with cooking, aren't we? No, you boil crab claws for seven to 10 minutes. Boil them. Hey, you know we're, we're filming, right? So you're still wanting to do Snapchat. Is it ready to go or what? I'm super yeah. excited. Just boil. I don't think all those crabs are gonna go in there. They're gonna fit perfectly and the water is not going to overflow. You swearing on that? Yeah. It's gonna be real close, but. Mm. <laughs> All right. And they're gonna turn nice and red. Almost as soon as you drop them in, they start to change color. Show them that big one one more time real quick. That's like a $30 crab claw. Hot tub. All right, so while all those cook, we got seven minutes. I want y'all to leave a comment below and tell me what's your Favorite crab to eat? Blue crabs, Dungeness crabs, snow crabs, king crabs, any other kind of crabs, mud crabs in Australia. I've heard those are amazing. Yeah. And I'm going there to catch them one day to do a catch, clean, and cook on a mud crab. That's his 750 pound swordfish tail. It was so big they didn't even have a, like, a life size mount for it, so they just did a tail. I thought you said it wasn't going to overflow. It didn't. It didn't, but you were close. Mm, Y'all, look at that. But most importantly, look at that. I'm gonna eat these like cereal. Just put all the meat in the butter, get a spoon. So, Sarah herself has a cool little cracker that I've never seen before and we're about to put it to work. As soon as Captain Nick gets done eating, cause he doesn't like crabs, a little weird. 
if you ask me. He's gonna film me crack these claws. Oh man, if y'all could only smell that though. But look at this cracker, this cool little deal here. I've always used a spoon. Take it in the heart, pow, 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 and then you end up slinging shells everywhere. But we're gonna do it like this because this is how Captain Sarah Stanzik said we had to do it. A simple little crack. Bring it in there like that. Crack. And then one more right here. I'm not even gonna open that yet, but I'm so excited to eat it. All right, y'all, we never even told you how many crab claws we had. How many we had? 36. 36 crabs. Now, trust me when I say if you went and bought this at a fish market, it would cost probably two to three hundred dollars. You can book her for not much more and go do it yourself. Bring your kids, bring your wife, come by yourself and leave with a mess of crab. And this is just an average pull. This isn't like something crazy. This is what she gets almost every time. But for the last two weeks, she's been averaging 40 to 50 claws a pull. But look at that goodness right there. Holy moly. That's like what dreams are made of. No seasonings required, just butter. That's all we're gonna do. Mmm. That's like life changing good. Now, most of the time when you get these, even in a restaurant, they've already been cooked, they've been cooled, and then if you want them warm, they gotta reheat them or you're just eating old, fresh, cold crab and that doesn't interest me at all. Right, here comes the star of the show. Where's it at? Let me dig it up out of here. Where did it go? Yo. Look at that colossal crab. Now this is how I grew up doing it, if I would eat them. Because I've ate them a bunch, I've just never went out and caught very many. Just take the hard part of the spoon like that, the bottom. Mm. Y'all don't even know how hot that is, but look at that huge chunk of meat. Mm. Y'all. This has been fun, like all my crabbing videos. For some reason, my crabbing videos are the best videos I do on my channel for watch time minutes. Y'all watch them the most. Financially, they're the best videos, and I can't thank y'all enough for that. But right now, we're gonna sit here and enjoy these crabs. Check out Stan's fam. That's Nick, the guy behind the camera. Legendary sword fisherman. You just saw him with Robert Deermeat for dinner. His wife, Captain Sarah Stanzik. Y'all, we can't tell you enough. These people are awesome. Check out their channel, check out his Instagram. But right now, I gotta eat these crabs, get showered, and head to the Everglades. So we're getting out of here. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for all the positive comments, but like Jake always says, we're getting out of shape. See y'all!